thank you for tuning in guys um, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how you can uh, use policy based routing on the 40 gate firewall in different scenarios so on the screen as you can see I have a situation whereas in the traffic from most of my clients PC1, PC2, PC3, PC5 Okay, all the traffic for the DNS 8.8.8 is actually diverted towards an external DNS proxy where I have a lot of restrictions on the DNS traffic and I do the DNS doctoring on the DNS traffic. Well, as of now, the traffic from the administrative device is also going through the same way as in the entire traffic from all the network below is uh, forwarded to the DNS proxy device or the DNS proxy server. And I just have a static route configured on the 40 gate firewall, which states that any traffic towards the DNS IP forwarded to the DNS proxy server. Well, in my situation, in my network, I don't want the administrative traffic or the DNS traffic from the administrative device to go to the DNS proxy server. Okay, I want the traffic to directly go to internet. So that is the condition here. The traffic from the administrative devices should go to the 40 gate firewall and from there it should go directly to internet. And I can achieve that using the policy based routing, which I'm going to demonstrate in, in the next step. So the network topology is pretty simple. Port one connects to internet. Port two again connects to internet, but it goes through a series of uh, devices. One among them is the DNS proxy and port three connects my internal network. Okay, so this is the 48 firewall. I have port one, port two, port three. Port three is connecting my internal network and uh, it is in the network 10, 10, 10, 0, 10, 10, 10. Dot two is the IP address configured on port three and the network is wide open 10, 0, 0, 0, slash eight. Port one connects to internet, port two, you know, goes through the proxy. Uh, and devices and the static route as you can see the default route pointing to 192.168.01 and the traffic for 8.8.8 .8 is diverted towards the dns proxy for all the devices and i have to you know override this particular situation here so if you click on policy route which is policy based route and if you try to create an entry, that will take preference over the conventional static routing table. So anything that you define here will take priority over your static routing table. Let me delete this and create a new one. Okay, so let us create an entry. So my incoming interface is port three as per our situation as per our network topology port 3 is the incoming interface port 1 is the outgoing interface and the source ip is this particular machine's ip which is 10.10.10 .10 .10 Let's take it slash 32. And the destination is going to be 
a dot a dot a dot eight and if you have multiple addresses you can specify here by clicking on the plus sign and i am not selecting any internet service i'm selecting the protocol as any which means i want to forward all the traffic any kind of traffic for the destination a.8.8 towards internet so in in this scenario i am forwarding the traffic you can click on outgoing interface enable this button click on port 2 i'm sorry click on port 1 port 1 is the outgoing interface with the ip192.168.0.108 as per our network topology and our gateway is okay this is my external uh, external firewall which allows the internet access and you can enable and disable this particular uh, policy based routing entry so once again incoming interface is port 3 outgoing interface is port 1 i can define the gateway and it can be different from what you have in your conventional routing table which is again an advantage while fine tuning the routing i have the source as my administrative device ip 10 10 10 1 protocol is any if you want you can click udp but then i do a lot of uh, testing with the dns traffic with all kind of protocols like tcp udp so i'm not checking those option i'm going with any let's try to click ok so now that i have entry one and whenever the traffic from the source 10 10 10 1 towards the ipa.8.8 .8 comes into the 40 gate firewall instead of taking the route this one it is going to check this entry first and forward the traffic as you can see i already have entry hit count is increasing with one let's try to see You can see here, ping 8.8.8.8 is successful through the 40 gate firewall. So these are the traffic, these are the entries for the sessions that, that were created when the traffic was actually hitting the firewall. And you can see the source as 10, 10, 10, 1 going towards 8.8.8. .8 .8. And this might be the entry from the last session. Okay, you can see here, uh, previously it was going towards 14140.40.190 gateway, which is my DNS proxy server. And now that the latest uh, session entry, as you can see, 10, 10, 10, 1 is actually going to my external perimeter firewall interface 192.168.0.108 let's try to clear the session and recheck this Now you can see clearly that the traffic is going from port 3 to port 1 via our gateway 
and we can check this as well with the help of this command. You can see here, there's an adding going on on port one and the traffic. Well, to confirm that the policy-based routing is working fine, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this entry. Okay, now it is graying out, means that the entry is disabled and the traffic should take the static route table entry. Now that I have that in the configuration, the traffic should fall, should fall, I mean, should fail to the destination 8.8.8 .8 from this particular machine. Before that, let's try to clear the session. As you can see, we already have the session. So traffic might take the existing session and go out as per the session entry. Okay, so now let's try to initiate a ping. You can see here it is failing because I have disabled the policy-based routing entry. You can see here the traffic from the source for the destination it is going towards the DNS proxy server. Well, if I go to this entry and enable this, First of all, I have to remove this session entry and let's try to do it again. Boom. So that is actually a confirmation that whatever configuration we have on the 40 gate firewall is working fine and our policy based routing is kicking in. You can see the in interface and out interface as well, along with the gateway information and the session details. So that's all in this video, friends. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, do leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.